but it's always an excuse. It's always throwing your team under the bus. They lose to Memphis. Oh, it's his players. Memphis was playing G League guys and two-way guys. And then you look at his quotes over the weekend. Now he wants to take credit for the James Harden trade to the Clippers working out. He wants credit for that. There's just no <laughs> – there's never accountability with that guy. Well, there's never accountability. Well, JJ's had a problem with me for a while, and that's fine. Players do. One thing, when you, when you coach – Stephen A., you can be called a player's coach or whatever you want to be called. But if you make decisions that the player doesn't agree with, and in J.J.'s case, we didn't cite him back. Um, you know, in, with the Clippers, I stopped playing him as much uh, because he wasn't very effective in the playoffs. And, you know, that, that's all known. But I'm fine with that. Like, usually they all come back to you. Mm-hmm. They do. Uh, because they know everything you tried to teach them or do for them was in good. J.J. Reddick's best numbers of his career – was under one coach, and you're looking at him right here. Mm. Um, it, I'm the one that grabbed him out of Milwaukee and decided to start him. From that point on, his career took off. Uh, all the movement plays, everything. First play of the game, every game when we played with the Clippers, you would have coaches and teams come up to you and say, you're not going to score on that first play with J.J. And I would always say, just watch us. We're going to figure it out. So overall, nothing but love for J.J., Obviously, there's things he doesn't like, and I have no issues with him. 